here I am, continuing my cable car route from half a year ago. And now I go from Botanical Garden to Monte Garden in Punjab. And I have already one recommendation because when I got in you could buy a map for I think like 60 cents and it was like I don't need a map but I'm all the time getting lost because it's really big and there's a lot of different paths but it's uh, super beautiful and it's very quiet now because it's still a bit corona time the nice thing is you don't have to wear a face mask you can breathe in nature and the flower smells and it's super beautiful here there's flowers everywhere So last time I was in Madeira, I spent most of my days on Porto Santo Island and I only had the morning to see something of Funjal and I took the cable, town, the cable car up but I didn't even have time to explore a lot because I needed to catch my flight So now, half a year later, and, and this was actually just before the coronavirus started Now it's half a year later and I'm finally back here So I'm in the botanical gardens uh, I took the bus up because I already did the cable car and now there's a there's a combi ticket you can buy you can go by bus up entrance of the I'm walking up so entrance of the botanical garden and now I'm gonna take the cable car to the Monte Monte Garden Monte Palace Garden okay so see you later very high so if you have fear of heights <laughs> it might be a challenge for you to the end of the cable car and I'm actually a bit happy to go out because it's getting very windy suddenly and it's very deep here or steep high let's say Here is a little waterfall And I'm just so really happy I went here because it's very different than the botanical gardens It's more like a garden, like I said, this is more like a jungle It feels like I'm in a forest and there's water everywhere And it's very quiet because of coronavirus, of course So yeah, it's really nice, I can recommend this place
so I'm just going out this crystal cave which is an exhibition coincidence I really like all these gemstones and crystals and suddenly I'm here and it's like full of them huge ones you can feel like an energy in that room really nice really beautiful everywhere here. So yeah, the entrance fee for the uh, Monte Palace Garden is 12 euro, 12 euro 50. Um, and the lady at the check-in told me that includes a glass of wine in the bar number seven. So that's where I'm heading to next. So I'm coming back from the wine tasting. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. Um, so I thought it was a glass of wine, but it was a little shot to try the Madarian wine, which is nice. I didn't drink it all the way because it was very strong. It's more like a liqueur, as he said, it's like 70%, but Madeira Max makes really nice wines. And this one was, you, I could choose sweet or dry, and I choose dry, but it was a bit sweet. It tasted a bit like a desert wine. Strange um, taste, but it was nice. <laughs> So there's actually a whole history behind this gardens with the palace and it was bought, I'm just reading a bit because I didn't know, it was bought in the 18th century by uh, a British man and about one century later I think yeah a Portuguese man bought it and he made like a hotel from it. In 1943 this man passed away and then a businessman bought it then they make a um, Monte Palace Madeira from it and after they use it for fresh air as a park. You can hear birds everywhere, either birds or waterfalls, one of the two sounds you hear. I only read now in the end that we have to wear the face mask in the cable car, so I might as well put it. Even though I'm alone in here, but people just got out of here, so I might as well follow the rules. Today, conclusion for today, to visit the botanical garden, uh, the Monte Palace Palace Monte Garden, Monte Palace Garden, sorry, and to do the cable car, it's um, it's a really nice thing to do in Funjal. So even if you're here only for one day, traveling by a cruise ship, once they're coming again, 
um, I can really recommend to go there to do this to, to do this thing. And also, if you're just uh, on holiday to Madeira, I would recommend to stay at least a few days in Funjal. And then I would plan one day for only this, because it takes quite a while if you want to see all the parks, especially if you want to do Botanical Garden and the Monte Palace Garden. I recommend to plan in a whole day for it, because I left in the morning, and I think it's um, quarter past three now, so before I'm back in Funjal, for sure it's going to be like 4 p.m. Um, and yeah, you want to take your time, you have to, um, you don't have to wait for the cable car because you just hop on. For the bus you might have to wait a bit. Uh, at both parks there is like uh, some cafeterias, bars where you can have a coffee, have something for lunch. Uh, there's toilets everywhere, so that's good to know. Um, so yeah, try it out. And um, this is just my second day in Madeira. Uh, I went uh, to Madeira in March, just before the coronavirus, and I went only to Porto Santo Island. There's already more information on my website, Splashpacker, so you can check that out. And otherwise, yeah, keep an eye on the YouTube channel, keep an eye on Splashpacker. My website is www.splashpacker.com. Um, and also, um, I'm gonna stay another 10 days here. So I'm gonna see more of the island. I'm gonna do a few Levada walks and a few day tours. Um, so yeah, if you wanna go to Madeira, you need some useful information. If you wanna get some impressions, I will keep photographing, filming and blogging. So I hope it helps you. And if you don't wanna go to Madeira, I hope you can still have this feeling of traveling a bit with me. Okay, still give you another view. Maybe another good thing to know is that um, so the botanical gardens they have a entrance down and an entrance up and exit of course as well. So if you take the cable car you will be dropped off at the entrance up and if you take the bus, if you do the combi ticket with the bus and cable car from botanical to Monte gardens, the bus will drop you at the gate down. So depending what tour you book and how you plan it yourself, this might be useful to know if you because it's a lot of walking today and also it might help you to plan the route through the botanical garden. Hi, so I'm back in the botanical garden because uh, the bus timetable she gave me to come back. So this is good information. The bus timetable for me she gave me to come back doesn't it's for the 30 one line, which is down at the botanical garden. And if you come from the cable car from Monto Garden back to the botanical garden, there's a bus stop two floors up from the cable car station. And that bus, there is a bus stop, so it's very close. The only thing is the timetable is different because that's 31A. And today is Saturday, so I just missed that bus and I should wait otherwise two hours. So the lady at the cable car told me, ask the girl from the botanical garden if you can come in again. Even though you've been already, I didn't have a ticket anymore. And if she can just let you go through, um, so you can get the bus downstairs. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going again through the botanical garden. I don't mind because I really love this place. And I have uh, just a walk down again now to go to the bus stop. And uh, there the bus is coming like the table, the girl downstairs in Funjal give me. Maybe this information is a bit confusing now, but I put it uh, in the blog post or in the description as well. I can put all times, prices, so you have an ID. But anyway, the bus timetable, if you do the combi tour, bus and cable car with entrance of Botanical Garden, uh, the bus times she gives you are from the Botanical Garden 
uh, from the bus stop down at the botanical garden entrance. So I have to go through here. Um, yeah, so that's good information to know. And now I can uh, record a little last video of the botanical garden because I did some filming this morning. Um, I include that in this video as well. But now I can also do a bit of talking without walking up. <laughs> here is a little view. And I really like these plants. Yeah, now it's good to compare the botanical garden with the with the Monte Palace garden. They're both very nice. I also like this one. I can feel like energy of all the nature and I said the other one is more as a forest. This is also a bit like a forest. I don't know the difference. The other one has more waterfalls, has more art. This one, um, and the other one is also more up, so it can be cloudy there and it can be a bit colder there. So bring something like a little thin jacket or something. Um, and here it's just also super beautiful. So yeah, if you like plants, if you like garden, I would say do them both, like I did. If you don't have enough time, it's hard to choose. I think Monte, it's a bit more beautiful because of all the waterfalls. It's like taking more care of, but it's also more expensive and it's more up. So, well, you can just take the cable car the first stop from Funjal, but if you do the combi ticket with the bus, then you will be dropped off at the, at the botanical first. So it depends on your time, what you want to do and the prices. Okay, I'm going to run to the bus. Bye bye.